Hi guys! On today's video, I'm going to show you how to paint an iris with watercolor on rice paper. This iris has three petals hanging outward at the bottom layer. And three petals standing upward at the center. And three petals on top of the bottom petals. I'm going to paint front one first and work it out to the back. I will look at this picture as a two-dimensional and see which one is the top layer. So I will paint this one first. The next one will be the top three petals, then these two middle petals. And the bottom layer of petals will be the last one to paint. I just wetted my brush with the clean water and take some water out with a paper towel. I'm adding watery blue-purple on tip of my brush. I'm going to put a first petal on here. I'm keeping tip of my brush on one direction. That way you can show a nice gradation on a petal. This petal is so wide, so I'm going to paint half petal first and add another one right beside it. It's not showing on the video, but I'm washing my brush every time when I grab new paint. I use the tip of my brush for the sharp point and press down for the wide spot and twist my brush and lift up same time to get the sharp point. If it's not easy to make a shape with a one brush stroke, you can break it to many brush strokes. Start with the pointy brush tip and press down, lift up, and turn the brush at the same time to get a sharp point. The next petal is a big one, and I'm putting color only from the middle to edge of the petal. Right now, I'm painting this without a sketch, but if you're not comfortable to paint without a sketch, you can have a sketch on other paper first and slide them underneath of the rice paper and paint. If you want to see the example, you can click the top right in this video. There's an eye mark. If you click it, it will bring you to my other video which shows painting with a sketch. I'm adding yellow and red brown onto tip of the brush. I'm controlling the water from the brush. Tip of the brush has a darker color, so I place that tip on the deeper spot for the petal. I switch to long thin brush for the long line works. It's for the detail on the wet surface, so I'm adding thick consistency purple onto the brush. There is a straight line going through the center and more lines around it. I'm not putting any pressure onto the brush. It's very feathery and light touch.
branching out more lines from there. This is the side view of the petals, so center line is hiding at the top part. This one didn't have a yellow as a base layer, so I'm adding it right now. Right now, I'm using a watered-down purple for this line because I don't want to have a strong line on this petal. This one is a sharp corner, so I use a thick consistency paint. I'm glazing watery blue on the petals, so it could have more bluish tones on some spots. I'm going to start adding some greens around the flower. I'm imagining where is the center of the flower, and straight down is the place I'm going to put a part of the stem. And I'm adding some long leaves behind the flower. I'm adding some highlights on the leaves. I'm adding some deeper shadow and highlights. I think that's it for the iris painting. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm always looking for some inspiration, so if you have some requests to watercolor flower, you can leave them in the comment. Thank you for watching video.